energized here, Ray. Let's not get overexcited. <laughs> and there is the record of Larry Holmes. He won 48 in a row, of course, before he lost those two fights to Michael Spinks. He's a businessman. He says this isn't a sport, it's a sporting business. That's the way he looks at it. And speaking of all business, Mike Tyson, 32-0 with the 28 knockouts. He fights about four times a year as champion. He is moving up in the record books, getting up there with some very, very big names in heavyweight history. Just 21 years old and fighting his sixth heavyweight championship fight already. And the tail of the tape, we told you about the 17-year age difference. And the weight really not any kind of a factor. Tyson a little bit lighter than he might have expected, but he was 218 the day before the fight. And Holmes a couple pounds heavier than he was in the second Sphinx fight. Yeah, that reach difference 10 inches might have meant something when Larry Holmes had that great snapping jab that he could impale an opponent on. And here is our punch stat numbers. This is a, a device to get a statistical profile of the activity of fighters and as you can see the figures are roughly the same Tyson throws a few few fewer punches than Holmes did in the past but the Holmes numbers are hard to measure because he hasn't been active and there you see the jabs Tyson throwing fewer Holmes of course throwing many more and the rules for this one it is a 12 round fight incidentally WBA and WBC now 12 rounds other than that there are the rules for just about every fight you see here on HBO no three knockdown rule and a fight. introductions I would like to acknowledge a man here in the ring who is indeed a man of heavyweight history in 1960 he was an Olympic gold medal champion in 1964 he became the heavyweight champion of the world in 1974 he again won the heavyweight title and in 1978 he became the only man in heavyweight history to win three world championships ladies and gentlemen the former three-time Heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali! <laughs> Muhammad Ali! And now, Don King Productions and the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino present heavyweight history. This bout is presented in association with the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. It is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard, Chairman Jerry Gormley, Deputy Commissioners Nick D. Balistrari and Lawrence Wallace, representing the World Boxing Council, its President Jose Suleiman and ringside supervisor Dwayne Ford. Here for the World Boxing Association, legal counsel James J. Bins, Esquire. The three judges doing the scoring for this contest. Rudy Ortega, Nicasio Drake, and Charlie Spina. The timekeeper is Lindsey Tucker, counting for the knockdown seconds, Frank Cappuccino. Chief ringside physician, Dr. Frank B. Doggett. Also in attendance, Dr. Charles Wilson and Dr. Stanley Eden. And the referee for this bout is Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks with red trim and weighs 225 and three quarter pounds. From Easton, Pennsylvania, his professional record, 48 victories, only two defeats. 34 KOs for seven and a half years. He ruled the division as an undefeated champion with 20 successful defenses. Tonight, he's the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, the man known as the Eastern Assassin, 
former heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Ho! And in the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks, weighing 215 and three quarter pounds, from Catskill, New York, which is the home, hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Customato. His professional record, a perfect 32 and 0, 28 KOs, 23 KOs in four rounds or less, and 16 knockouts in the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Well, the crowd is ready for the heavyweight championship of the world. Mike looks almost bored, but he's anything but. That's right, just his demeanor. I gave you both the rules for dressing room. And remember what I told you, I'm here to enforce my rules. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? All right, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. All right, we're set to go. The young bull and Mike Tyson against the old bull and old warrior and Larry Holmes. Mike coming off a seventh round KO over Tyrell Biggs. Larry Holmes, as you know, lost that 15 round decision to Michael Spinks. He also lost his IBF title in the fight prior to that to Michael Spinks in a very close and controversial decision. Actually, both of them were. Here he is, Larry Holmes and White, and Mike bang for the body right away. Holmes hangs on. Larry had over 20 title defenses when he was champion. And now the young guy is chasing him down. I'm a huge fan of Larry Holmes, but this isn't the Larry Holmes that I want to remember. Michael Tyson's legacy is in front of him. It remains to be seen what greatness he may achieve in the heavyweight division. Larry Holmes will go down in history books as one of the great heavyweight champions of all time. He never has received the credit, but he was a great champion in his prime. At age 38, you know the lack of the left hand. You notice, I should say, the lack of the left hand. In the old days, Larry would have had that left hand, which looks like a just a jackhammer in the face of so many opponents. And from behind that, he'd throw the right. But tonight, it's obviously missing. Larry's still up on his toes and able to move a bit. But time robs all great champions of the ability to move. Holmes needs to be able to move like this if he's going to do anything against the stronger Mike Tyson. Midway through the first round, no heavy blows landed, and very few punches even thrown by Larry Holmes. The Eastern Assassin is the shadow of his former self, but for the kind of money they pay to fight for the heavyweight championship, you can't blame a prize fighter for fighting for the type of prizes they have today. We're in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Bob Sheridan, and this is the heavyweight championship of the world. As Mike right, bangs Larry right, behind the head. Larry right, ties right. him up. Let's go. Now Mike up at his toes, tries to get the footwork going. Trying to pick up the pace. Caught Larry with a pretty good left hook. That's the best punch landed so far. Straight right hand to the body of Larry. Now in the old days, Mike Tyson wouldn't have been able to get through that jab, or it would have been much more of a contest. That's what the fight would have been about. In the present day, in January of 1988, the question is, how long can Larry survive against this young bull? Because if Larry continues to fight like this, he can't survive long. The things that made him great are not there, the foot speed or the hand speed. Another crushing blow to the body of Larry Holmes. Closing seconds of the first round. As the bell, ending round one. Kevin Rooney talking to Mike. The crowd is really juiced up. I can hardly hear what he's saying. 
And he wants to stay right on top of him. He's, one of them, he's saying. on your jab, make it hurt a little more. You gotta make it, make the jab count a little more. Well, Sit Richie Giacchetti is giving right. Larry then good advice. Then you come up with it. Come back and pay with the jab. The come jab up, was come noticeably lacking. I've done pop, pop, almost pop. all of Larry Holmes' fights okay. throughout the, the prime of his career. Again, and he was, ladies and gentlemen, one of the finest heavyweights of all time. Never given credit because he came on the heels of the great Muhammad Ali. And that's a tough act to follow. This is round two. Scheduled for 12, this is the heavyweight championship of the world. We're in Atlantic City, New Jersey, in the convention center. Again, I'm Bob Sheridan, and again, I hope you're enjoying it. Because in spite of the fact it's an aged Larry Holmes, it's always exciting to watch the former great against the present great. The only thing is, this is beginning to remind me of the night that Larry Holmes beat up Muhammad Ali. And for some of you old-timers, you might remember Rocky Marciano knocking out Joe Lewis. It's that kind of night. I just hope Larry doesn't get hurt because believe me, I'm a huge fan of Holmes. All right, let's go and because of that, I noticed all of the things lacking that the one-time great Larry Holmes could do, he's not executing tonight. He's standing flat-footed. He's an easy target for Mike to hit. Mike is quicker, Mike is stronger. Larry can right, tie him up and go. use his tremendous defensive ability in those long arms. But the great weapon that Larry possessed was a driving, pounding left jab, and it's not there. Big right hand to the body of Larry. And those punches against the 38-year-old body will take their toll as well. Holmes hanging that left arm, and that could be disastrous before it's over. Larry comes with what looked to me a half-hearted uppercut midway through this, the second round of a scheduled 12-round championship heavyweight fight. In the old days, Larry would have had that left jab just punching and punching and punching and setting up the right hand, and he'd have been moving up on his toes. But in this day, Mike Tyson just walks right through. Nice job by Joe Cortez, making them break clean. Larry got a sneaky right hand through there, but it didn't hurt Mike. Larry had 34 knockouts in his career, but most of them were kind of like Ali's knockouts. They're accumulation of punches, except against lesser opponents, and then he was able to knock them out clean. Larry was a great boxer in his prime. And he's having Hold trouble holding off the Hold young bull. Notice he just holds the left hand out now. In his prime, that would have been right, pumping in the face right, of Tyson. Would have loved to see these guys fight in their prime, but it just doesn't happen that way. Mike gets through. He's showing no respect for the former greatness of Larry Holmes, and he doesn't have to tonight because Larry can't execute what he used to be able to execute. This is professional boxing, and it's about money, and that's why Larry's fighting. Fortunately for Larry in his career, he's never been hurt. And I hope he doesn't get hurt tonight. There's the bell, ending round two. Another easy 10-9 round for Mike Tyson. Kevin Roney continues giving instructions to Mike Tyson. There's a crowd in here, it's hard to hear again. Bullshit, bullshit, don't tell me I ain't holding you. It's not enough punch, you're not going to Mike answers back, Kevin. Notice Kevin tells, hey, Mike, I'm not taking that. You listen to me. It's exactly what guys need when they get a lot of money and a lot of fame like Mike has now. They need somebody to give them this kind of direction. Kevin Rooney, one of the best at it. He's been with them since he was a kid. Let's see what we see here. Digs to the body. Now the left hook. That grazes past the chin of Larry. There was one other punishing body shot during the course of the second round. All right, here we go, round number three. Atlantic City Convention Center in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The heavyweight championship of the world. Larry Holmes. Notice how flat-footed he is, and you remember when he used to fight up on his toes, bouncing left, bouncing right, sticking that jab out, really stinging the jab? 
a little bit of bounce there, but then he goes back to settling down, back on his heels. Mike moves the body, moves the head side to side. He's up on his toes. And when Mike gets up on his toes and moves side to side, he's at his best. But right now, with the inability of Larry Holmes to land the jab or even use it much, Mike comes right through. That's one of the best combinations that Larry's thrown, and it doesn't shift Mike at all. It doesn't even back him off. That'll just give Mike more confidence. And that's Larry's best hand. Look at this. He comes right through the left again. A noticeable lack of the left, I should say. And I'm not knocking Larry Holmes. I've mentioned twice already what a tremendous fan I am. I love Larry Holmes as a fighter. Make no mistake about it. I actually hate to see him fighting Mike Tyson. I understand why, though. This is a business. A half uppercut inside caught Mike, but it didn't hurt him. This is round three. Joe Cortez has them break clean. Notice Larry right down on the flat of his feet. Mike up on his toes. Larry standing flat footed. Mike comes right through because there's no jab there. And without that great stiff jab that Larry had, Larry's just another fighter. Midway through round number three, and he's just another, I'm afraid to say, but I have to say, another aged heavyweight. Looking for another payday. Looping right hand gets through and shifts Larry back. Larry tries to work the uppercut inside. Nice defense inside by Larry. He's got those big, long arms. But the big advantage of the jab, notice, that's a paring jab. Larry never threw his jab like that in his prime. He used to drive off the back foot and sting with that left jab. His left jab was actually a punch. And as good as a straight right hand against many of opponents. A nice clean break by Joe Cortez and the fighters. Tyson has a lot of respect for the former ability of Larry, but he has to do what he has to do. He's the undefeated heavyweight champion, and like the night that Larry cried when he beat up Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson doesn't have the sensitivity to do that, but I know he knows he can handle Larry. Holmes paring with the left. A little bit of a stiff jab that time, but not punishing. Larry tentative with his right hand. He ties him up inside so Mike can't punish the body. There's a digging body shot, a bit on the low side. About 10 seconds to go, and this is the third round. Joe Cortez says, keep him up, Mike. Borderline shot. And there's the bell ending the round. The right hand gets through, and a light left just at the bell. Larry says, hey, Joe, keep an eye on that. Larry Holmes, something red in that. That's not water that he's getting in there. I don't, big jack. don't know what that is, but another one. I don't think he's supposed to have it, whatever it is. Me, me. It's all me, academic me, because me, okay. if it's all something right, in there that can okay, keep right, going okay, for a few rounds, it's great. Let's it's the now. water now. Come on now. <laughs> okay, let's see the replay. Watch for the right hand. Boom! See that spin the head? Now watch the bell. You'll see a left hook. Oh, right there on the ear. Joe Cortez just get in there, and Larry complained after that that it was a little after the bell. Kevin Rooney keeping that Q-tip up in the nose of Mike might have a little cut up in his nose, but that's nothing. That's common for all fighters. Coming up to round number four. Holmes has got to do something to change the pace of this fight. So far, he's done absolutely nothing. He's not throwing punches. All right, here we go, round four. Bob Sheridan here at the Atlantic City Convention Center. You're watching Larry Holmes. Oh, look at this. Larry up on his toes using the jab. Swinging that left hand in front of him. Shades of Holmes of old. But watch out, Larry, for that right hand. Mike is extremely quick. Oh, wouldn't it be great if Larry could keep this up for a few rounds? I don't know if 38-year-old legs can do that. Ali, in late in his career, used to do it for the last 15 to 20 seconds of rounds. And he stole rounds. But doing it at the start of a round is something different. This is Larry back on his heels again now that the mic banged him inside again. Well, for you youngsters, you saw just a shade of the old Larry Holmes. And now here he is back to the... Oh, left hook got Larry that time. That never would have happened in the old days. In the 1988, it's Mike Tyson's era of the 80s. Larry had his go in the 70s. In 1978... 
His fight against Kenny Norton was one of the great fights of all heavyweight history. Dead even fight going into the final round of the fight, and Holmes eked it out. Two great guys in the peak of their shape. And here we are 10 years later, and Larry's career is just about over. Oh, he may continue to fight, but his great days are over. Right now, getting through this fourth round is the biggest problem. Oh, right hand! Down goes Larry Holmes! For well, one of the few times in his career. Boy, oh boy, look at that. He was knocked down by Ernie Shavers, Mike Weaver. Ronaldo Snipes had him out with a heavier shot than that. But right now, Mike Tyson is in charge. He's the boss, and Larry's down for the second time. There's no free knockdown rule, but Larry's in a heap of trouble here. His legs aren't there. He'll take the standing eight count. It's almost academic now. Mike smells the blood. He senses the kill. He comes in for it. Larry trying to hold him off. There's too much time left in the fourth round. The end of a great career is imminent. Larry Holmes, his legs are jelly. There's lightning in the fist. Big right hand followed up by the left hook. Lightning in the fist of Tyson. Straight left hand. He face that one, getting in position. Mike showing patience to get set for the big shot. Right hand hurt Larry again. He's back at his heels. Left hand. Larry's going to get hurt. This is bad. Hope Joe Cortez takes a look into the eyes. Larry gets nailed with the left hand. The right hand digs to the body. Goes to draw right hand. Gets clipped with a big right hand. He won't get up from this one. It's all over. Joe Cortez has seen enough. And Larry Holmes is knocked up. He doesn't count him out, but he's out. It looked a bit like Larry was in the process of throwing a right hand to get caught up in the ropes. And when he threw the right, the power of the right spun his body towards the right, and it left him wide open with his left hand down for a right hand of Mike Tyson. And he got clipped and he got knocked out. A lot of confusion in there. Larry seems to be okay. Thank the good Lord above for that. Again, I've been a tremendous fan and boosted Larry Holmes throughout his career. He may be my favorite of all time. Of course, Ali is in a class by himself, but in all the other heavyweights, I love this kid as a fighter. Never got his just due. He was a tremendous champion. But this is the man of the hour. Mike Tyson's record goes to 34-0. Here's the first knockdown. A crushing right hand right on top of the temporal bone and above that left eye. Same thing, different angle. Watch for it. Eights. Boom, right there. Look at that. The power of that right hand. And Mike driving off his back foot and really has everything going. Watch the way. See? Watch the way. See? He's almost jogging into it. He's got everything going for him when he lands that right hand. And years gone by, Larry would have had the left up. Is the second knockdown now. Let's see how this occurs. A left hand, a right hand, and then just an accumulation of pretty good shots there. This isn't as tough a knockdown as the first one. Same thing. See, he misses that shot. Catches him good there below the jaw. But he's already rattling his brain. He's out on his leg right here. And then on top of the head, which rattles the brain again. And Larry crumbles down. Same thing, different angle. See their front feet getting tied up there. Mike actually in almost a southpaw stance with his right foot forward, stepping on Larry's outstretched left foot. And is the last knockdown in the finishing series of the fight. Watch for Larry's right hand. See that get hung up in the ropes? And so he's totally exposed. And Mike throws one more right hand, and that's all the inside of Larry's skull could take. Thank the good Lord again that Larry's okay because he's never been hurt like this before. Oh, that is a tough, tough punch. And the left hook digs to the body. He's out in his feet right here. Goes to throw it, and it's caught, and it exposes his body. And then, look, right there. Boom. His head going one way. Mike's fist coming the other way. And this is the very last time. This will show exactly how that right hand gets hung up in the ropes. And watch the way he spins his body. And right there, he's caught, exposed. And Mike, boom, he jumps on it. And that's all she wrote. Mike Tyson retains 
the heavyweight championship of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the official time. The end comes at two minutes, 55 seconds of the fourth round. The winner, and still the undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world.